Hi, I'm Neil Curtis from neilcurtis.me. Welcome to another Gravity Forms tutorial. So we have a Gravity Form embedded into a post here and it has a form title of styling Gravity Forms and a form description of this form is created for styling purposes. And then we have two field elements or two elements in this Gravity Form. We have a single line text field which has its field title, then it has an input field area, and it also has a field description. So at this top element, it says, please fill out the above single line text field. Then below that, we have another field, and it's a radio button field, and this field has the title of radio buttons, and it's got three elements in there, three input elements, and it also has a description associated with it of select one option above and in this tutorial we're going to look at styling and formatting this description area of these input field containers okay so to do this we need to go into our css style sheet so i'll just open up the dashboard in a separate window we go appearance and then editor and here in this particular theme, it opens up the CSS style sheet by default. And if it doesn't, it'll be in this list on the right. So you just select it from there. We'll go right down to the bottom and we'll start adding some CSS styling code. So to target the input field description container, we need to go body hash gform underscore wrapper underscore four. Okay, and this underscore four relates to the ID of the gravity form we're styling. So this particular form on this tutorial has an ID number four. Yours may have a different number and you put that different number in here. If you wanted to target every single form on your site rather than an individual form like we're doing here, you would remove this ID and you would change this hash for a dot like so. But we're looking to style an individual form with an ID of four. And next we need to type g dot g form underscore body dot g form score fields and then dot g field and then finally this is sort of breaking it down into the individual areas individual divs where this particular container description container is situated so finally we are we write dot g field underscore description okay and then that's targeting the description field of these input elements okay so we have open and close curly brackets and in between these we're going to put the styling code so we'll just do some very simple styling i'm going to add a border and then it'll have a thickness of five pixels We'll say a solid line, and then we'll have the color of red. So I'll just update these styling changes. We go back to our form and I'll refresh the page. And now you'll see these description fields, description areas have got this red border. So it hasn't touched anything else in the form. It's only touched the description fields of these elements because that's what we're targeting in this particular case. So I'll just do a little bit more styling. I'll add some padding around this field just to space it out a bit neater and then that will do. So we go back into our CSS styling and we'll just add padding 10 pixels, just add a little bit of padding all the way around it. And I didn't want that. So I'll save these changes again. Now when we refresh the form this time, we should add some padding around the words, which it has done. So you see now there's a nice 10 pixel padding around the words. So that'll do for this quick tutorial to show you how to target and style the input field description containers in Gravity Forms. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get updates as soon as I've got new videos ready for you. And also head over to my website, which is www neilcurtis.me where I have lots more guys tutorials about gravity forms and WordPress and other web design things.